going to start with breaking news out of Houston. You just saw it there, a deadly shooting at Joel Osteen's church. We've got Steve Pickett, who has been on the road today, live at Lakewood Church now, downtown Houston, with the update on the investigation tonight. Steve? Well, the primary focus all day today after 2 o'clock, after all this happened, Doug, who and why? This woman walked in here, according to authorities, and opened fire, plain and simple, and could have hurt a lot of people. Unfortunately, there was one child who is critically injured. As you mentioned, that woman is dead. One other person also hit with this gunfire. It sent many of the congregants that were here inside Lakewood, and you know there are hundreds, if not thousands, who are typically here. Many of them sent running as a result of this gunfire. This is actual footage we saw this evening. Crime scene analysts, Houston police, DPS officials, all still inside this mega church this evening. They were obviously still working this scene, trying to process it, uh, but no word from them late this evening on really sort of any updated information. We know that woman opened fire quickly and she, she walked through this entrance here, apparently hiding a long gun under a coat. Uh, many people actually have seen on social media by now the postings of hearing that gunfire uh, as they were starting a Spanish service here. This was just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, Houston's police chief describing the attack as one that had potential for more devastation. Woman walking to this sanctuary with a little boy. This child was five years of age, we are told. Uh, two licensed peace officers working as church security, one with Houston police, the other an ATF agent. They returned fire. She entered the building. She was armed with a long rifle and a trench coat with a backpack, accompanied by a small child, approximately four to five years old. Uh, once she entered, uh, at some point she began to fire both officers, the officer and agent, uh, engaged, uh, striking the female. Uh, she's deceased here on the scene. Unfortunately, a five-year-old kid was hit and is a critical condition. We don't understand why these things happen, but we know God's in control, and we're going to pray for that little five-year-old boy and pray for the lady that was deceased. The world knows the face of Joel Osteen, and today he had to face the rest of the world with something that has happened far too often in too many other places. This time at the entrance door here at Lakewood. No official information regarding the identity of this woman. All we were told, they believe she to be 30 to 35 years of age and had that five-year-old little boy with her and a backpack and again that long gun. There was at least one other individual again who was inside. We were told hit in the hip or the leg. We believe to be a congregant here. No serious injuries for anyone else. And obviously, police and authorities here continue their investigation, hopefully to update exactly why this woman came here and prevented and created this kind of carnage emotionally and physically for so many. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS News, Texas. Yeah, one big question why still remains tonight. Steve, live for us in Houston. Thank you. Wing tight Governor Greg Abbott did release a statement not too long after the shooting today, and he writes, and quoting here, our hearts are with those impacted by today's tragic shooting and the entire Lakewood Church community in Houston. Places of worship, he says, are sacred. Still plenty of unanswered questions, of course, at this point. Police have yet to release the suspect's identity or any possible motive. Stay with CBS News Texas online and also on air for all the latest updates.